everybody. Coach Sion here. I'm going to go ahead and go over another video. This one is going to be the how to Nathandra Mythic. Okay, so we're at about 11 attempts total on the boss, and we're doing an excellent job. I really feel like we're coming into our own as far as how we need to deal with it. Um, again, though, the other uh, issues are that personnel. We need to make sure that we have 20 available. So we're in the um, in a video that I'm going to be making after this. I'm going to talk about what we're going to be doing moving forward and adjustments that we're making involving our schedule to maximize our potential of 20 players being present, so that way we can start maximizing our total rep time um, in Mythics. That also is going to include, uh, you know, about the elements that we're doing for recruitment and things of that nature. But let's get back to the video as far as how to, right? So this right here is a 6 minute and 50 second kill on Nathandra involving a guild that has um, 859 item level, 20 personnel because it's mythic. Um, their overall DPS average as a group for the entire kill is 3.353 million, which is actually just... Um, uh, a few about 150 170,000 below our best attempt so our overall thorough put is actually higher than them and so what we can do that comparing from Xavius because Xavius is where we were doing the 3.7 but what, what and what we're seeing there is that we could probably get to about 3.1 without pots 3.0 without pots and so that puts us right where we want to be as far as overall thorough put to be able to take the boss down it might just be a little bit more prolonged than the six minutes and 50 seconds but if you look this also this 3.3 Three five three that they were doing was with five heals and instead of four like we're doing it, the overall HPS that four heals can generate for us is actually higher than what their five heals were doing. Just to put it in context, okay. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and um, do the replay for everybody in a full screen. Uh, we're gonna run it at 1.0 and then occasionally pick it up at 2.0. Um, they hero on pull after everybody gets set up. Another element that we're going to go ahead and note is that we're going to start splitting the group up evenly. Now, like I said, they had five heals. We're going to do two. So we're going to have two heals present up here and two heals present down here. And then try to split our range appropriately through here and through here. <coughs> our melee naturally is going to be eight yards spread across here and across here. All right. Tanks are going to be relative to right here. Now, tanks are going to run their debuff here. And then... Boom is completely content with the rot being distributed anywhere across the north face through here and then on the south face from here, okay, where I'm clicking, right here, all the way down and around to here. That's your areas to be able to work with with the rots, okay? Now, an element that we didn't quite have, sorry, it's stalling out a little bit for movement. Um, an element that we didn't have was we were like stack in the middle of the body, right? Well, it's kind of difficult to be able to sit there and generate the type of AOE that you want to do potentially if, for example, some people might be off to the right towards the tail, right? Some people might be off to the left towards the head. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play here. You're going to see the intro, and then when it comes time to deal with the first, insan or first possessions, you'll see what they're doing, and that's what we're going to do, okay? <clears throat> so the fight starts. Everybody's where they're at. This is the first set of rots, and as you see, like I said, in the areas that they're pointing, they put them here and they put them through here. Tanks are set right here, facing towards the entrance. You want to make sure that you're consistently paying attention as far as where your eight-yard spread is. Remember that rangefinder is going to be gone soon, so it's going to make it a little bit more difficult to pay attention where it is. You're going to start getting a feel for where it is. Here's the first placement of um, the first tank putting down their debuff okay down in this section here basically they're going to set it in there try to get it as far as they could towards the entrance and then they're going to come back into the fight as they get an opportunity to it also seems like he's intentionally getting stacks so that's another element that we want to make sure we're paying attention to at this point the tank is purposely going to make themselves turn during the first rotation um so that way control is available to the other tank throughout the contest. Now, the issue, though, is that we got to see how they do the handoff for the rot and how they do the burn, and that's coming up. So we'll continue moving forward. We'll speed it up just a little bit here. They're going to continue managing the rots. Okay, so... <coughs> sorry about the cough. Still dealing with that. If you see, the stack point is on the tanks, and that's just how we're going to deal with it from now on. When possessions get incurred, they purposely had a few people during the first rotation go and get their stacks so that way what you have is um, a set group of people getting the first rotation of it so they're either purposely setting up who's getting the stacks or they were just like all right group one or group two or whoever's doing it you go ahead and you take care of it and from there that that allows that to uh so that they get a consistent burn and there's the pile up right there 
So on the first rotation, it's just the tank. Everybody stacks up and immediately burns down the target. Go ahead and move forward. Pick up the speed to two. <coughs> Tanks continue to rotate. So see, one tank is at one stack, the other tank's at three stacks. They're continuing putting the rots in the specific spots. Eight yards are a little clumped up in here. They need to make sure that they're paying attention. There's the next stack right there. So as you can see, they did it again. Pull it back. This time they dealt with one, two, three, four, five, six people. So six people flipped this time. Um, and they, they did, but the burn was exactly the same in the exact same spot on the tanks. And this is also a point where you can see at three minutes as we come up to it that the two tanks are dealing with it um, as far as one. You'll see that, for example, now the Paladin tank is purposely going to flip himself where the other tank is not getting any stacks, right? So this is the first bug phase. And what that says is that during the next roar, the tater tots is going to intentionally get flipped during the stack. So one of the elements that we want to make sure that we're paying attention to as it comes up, and I'll pause. Okay, so there he goes. It's going to set rot down. Tank with no stacks is going to go ahead. They're going to go ahead and do their stack point. Here comes the second set of rot. Breath comes out, and there's your stack. Okay, so at this point, one tank has two stacks, the other one has 13. So the so this time tater tots is going to get flipped, right? But at this point, Nathandra isn't going to lay down yet, right? So what you're looking for is that the tank that's going to be um, possessed needs to immediately, like the AOE needs to go off on top of them, but it needs to immediately be burnt off of the other tank so that that tank can taunt Nathandra. And then if you watch Matt Demon, I love the names of some of these guys, it's outstanding, right? Watch Matt Demon boom and they get out with the rot so see currently has the rot so like what we had happen yesterday was the the explosion went off on the possession of me and everybody else that was piled up because of us not getting that aoe burned down as quickly as we can he jumps out places the rot runs through a little bit of it and then comes back and then we're right back to seeing these exact same stacks going on um Another element, too, that was brought to our attention and that you can see as far as the healing throw put on the, um, the analyzation of this replay is that they're using global heal cooldown specifically during the bug phase because of the, all the movement that's required due to the amount of rot that's present on the ground and also the damage that comes from the bugs. Um, as you'll see here, let's see if this is the beginning of it or the end of it. Okay, so at its top, during the second laydown, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 this time. There was like 10 before. And then when you get to later on in the in the replay, you'll see that there's even more. So there's really no time for the healers to kind of find a safe spot without having a global go off. So we're going to do something where like we need to make sure we're getting a trank on one rotation and we're getting a healing tide rotation, etc. Okay? <coughs> Damage is minimal um, to the boss during the bug phase. Um, they go back to their forms, you know, left and right. There's the rots being spread everywhere. Now, during the third rotation, you're going to see that it's going to be five rots every single time. So that's 20 rotations between each set of breaths going into phase two during the nap again. There's the stack. Everybody burns. Another set of rots. Here comes another exchange on this one. Tater Tots has 10. Matt Demon has 3. Tater gets burnt. Tater taunts. They're just trying to find sweet spots. Like if you look right here, for example, they're getting hit by all kinds of stuff actually right there. But because of the global heal going on, it ends up mitigating quite a bit of it. Dragon wakes up. This is now the fourth rotation, so you're going to have in total four rotations of five. And then they get the kill, okay? So it's pretty relative as far as what's going on, and we've got that all figured out. The next how-to video, we're going to be focusing on Ella Rathin and Pharrell, and then Ursoc. We're going to be doing this kill order based on WoW progress, and I'll talk about that in the next video on our update, okay? I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. Please comment if you have any suggestions, um, and I'll see you guys in Raid, all right? Thank you for taking the time.